Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of War Thunder, and today, uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a different, uh, video. Um, <clears throat> I will be discussing, um, basically War Thunder versus World of Warplanes. But, uh, before I get into all that, um, I just wanna give a, <clears throat> a reminder to everybody that when I get to 50 subs, I'm at, I think, 46 or 47 right now. But when I get to 50, I'll be doing a Minecraft tutorial, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, guys, back on uh, topic, whatever. Anyway, um, I downloaded World of Warplanes yesterday. Um, I was online. I saw a little advertisement about it, so I'm like, you know what? I haven't tried this game, so I decided I was going to download it, give it a shot, and I... I've never been so disappointed before in my life. Um, <laughs> the game's bad. Uh, it is really, really, really bad. I played the game for maybe like 20 minutes and I just uninstalled it and I will never touch it again. So, uh, we'll do... For uh, like a comparison, I'm not going to be showing the video for the game for uh, World of Warplanes uh, because, well, like I said, I uninstalled it. But anyway, graphics-wise, uh, War Thunder obviously kicks its ass, kicks its ass all over the place. Uh, War Thunder is hands down the best out of the two, graphics-wise, no contest at all. It's just War Thunder is so much better. Um, War Thunder has more, uh, how do I want to say it, uh, more realistic graphics, um, and World of Warplanes, you can tell just by looking at it, it's a lot more, uh, video gamey, I guess, for lack of a better term. So, War Thunder beats it by a long shot in the graphics department. Now, the controls department, again, War Thunder blows it out of the water. Oh my god, I was getting so frustrated because the controls for World of Warplanes, they were so fucking... I don't even know what to say. They were so bad. They were so clunky and it just wasn't nice and smooth uh, like World of... Or, <laughs> like War Thunder. So, control-wise, War Thunder again blows it out of the water. No contest. Like... It was frustrating even to, like, pull up and go down. Even that was bad. It just... It had the potential to be a nice, fun game, but the controls, they... They need to rework them a lot. They're just not good at all. I mean, especially coming from this to that, it's... No. No, no, no. Bad. But if you start off on World of Warplanes, I guess, yeah, I, I guess that'd be okay. But, ugh, bad, 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 bad. Another thing that is horrible about World of Warplanes, the planes have fucking, um, god damn it, what the hell are they called? Hit points! And that's, it, it, it feels wrong. Like, World of War, uh, God, I can't even talk. World of Tanks, that worked great. World of Tanks worked phenomenally uh, in the hit points uh, department. Um, everything, you know, I can't really think of anything bad to say at the moment about World of Tanks. But I might do uh, Ground Forces versus that eventually. But anyway, guys, uh, like I was saying, the hit points, like... Why? There's no... It, it just doesn't work right. It really doesn't. It just feels really, really awkward. Because in this game, you know, you... Fucking shoot a plane with 20s and they're gone. Wings gone, everything. But no, you can just lay into something in World of War planes. And fucking... It's just... They eat it because, you know, hit points. Because for some reason they thought that would be a great idea. It, it wasn't, it's bad, um, really bad, um, but, uh, yeah, 
uh, the planes department. So, uh, right now we got War Thunder is completely undefeated in every category against World of War planes. But, uh, the planes department, War Thunder at least has twice as many planes. At least. Um, so, I mean, this is still beta too, and I don't think, uh, World of War planes is in beta, so no excuse there. But, uh, like I said... Uh, War Thunder has at least twice as many planes, plus bombers. Um, World of Warplanes does not have any bombers. They have fighters and attackers. No bombers. Um, but, 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 the one thing that I actually liked about World of Warplanes is they have a whole bunch of German paper planes. Um... I can't even think of any names right now for them. Um, uh, the one I can remember right now is the Twin 109. It looks like the F-82 that we have here, but a 109 instead of Mustangs. They have that. They have the um, P something something something. Really late war. Um, basically, it had the... Uh, you know what? It reminded me of one of the uh, Russian jets, where it has the jet engine right underneath the fuselage. I can't think of the name. The Pelagio or something. But they got those. And uh, that's pretty sweet. They got a bunch of... Uh, they have a really cool looking uh, prototype 262. And they just have a lot of prototype paper planes that I really wish were in this game. So... For that reason alone, I'm going to call that a draw. The fact they have those, in my opinion, that counteracts the fact they don't have a lot of anything else. They don't have the same variety uh, or the same variants that we do. So they basically have the base model planes and they got a bunch of the paper planes. And that is the one thing I like about Wargaming is they will do paper planes. And for some reason, uh, War Thunder, they will not, um, they want to be more realistic and stuff and not add the paper planes. But I truly, truly, truly think that if they started adding some paper planes, that would draw in some more crowd because, you know, most of the German uh, fanboys like myself, we love our prototypes and paper planes because they look badass like they really do so like I said I'm gonna call that one a draw uh, paper planes and then you know so anyway guys uh, would I recommend playing world of uh, war planes honestly no I would not recommend playing it um, unless this game all of a sudden shuts down all the servers and all that and uh, you can't get on and play anymore. I would not recommend playing World of Warplanes. It is, it really is that bad. It is not a good game by any means. Um, you know, I don't really have a problem with the company itself because I used to love World of Tanks, but uh-uh, World of Warplanes, nope, bad. It is really bad. I can't stress enough that it's awful. I mean, I've played some bad games before. Um, I've played lots of flight games. I've played uh, uh, Secret Weapons over Normandy. Um, I can't. There's a couple more, but I can't think of the names. Um, but yeah, I've played a bunch of uh, flight games, World War II flight games. Um, I can't think of most of their names right now, but... Honestly, World of Warplanes is probably the second worst. Um, Secret Weapons over Normandy was pretty bad, but in a way it was pretty good. Oh, 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 before I forget... World of Warplanes, they do have the fucking flying pancakes, so I will give them an extra brownie point for that. Oh, my, I completely forgot about that. I was looking on their website at all the planes, 
and all that stuff. And I saw that and I was like, damn. But really, guys, I mean, yes, I got excited about that. I'm excited about all the paper planes, but the game itself is really, 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 really not worth playing. I mean, I played a little bit. I tried to like it, but <clears throat> I couldn't. The controls were not bad, or not great. I mean, they were really, eh, pretty shitty. Um, the graphics were, eh. Um, and, you know, so everything, I mean, the controls was the real kicker there that made me not want to play the game. Every, it just felt really awkward, and the hit points together with the bad controls, it just didn't work right. But, you know, I mean, if you want to play it and check it out for yourself, feel free, but, I mean, this is just my opinion. Um, obviously it doesn't reflect everybody. I'm sure there's a bunch of people out there that really like the game for whatever reason, but I cannot stand it. I think it's terrible, and I really would not recommend it. So, comparing War Thunder and World of Warplanes, War Thunder absolutely blows it out of the water. It's like taking the Yamamoto battleship against a yacht. I mean, it's a major difference there. So, you know. <sighs> but anyway, guys, <clears throat> thank you for watching this video. And uh, I will see you. Well, I might see you tomorrow. I, I'm i not even going to promise I'm going to put out a video tomorrow because Supernatural Season 10 comes out on Netflix. And I will probably be watching that all day. And then my girlfriend's coming over and yada, yada, yada. So I don't know if I'll be able to put out an episode of something tomorrow. But we will have to see what happens. If not tomorrow, then definitely Thursday. Or Wednesday, I mean. Yeah, Thursday. But anyway, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!